So something pretty common that I don't always see when I'm tide pooling are purple sea urchins. When I do see them, they're in rocky crevices, half embedded, and look like they're stuck somewhere. And in fact, they're commonly found half sunk into the rock. With their spines and teeth over the years that they're in a certain spot, they'll dig themselves a little hole, almost a little crevice, and just have half of themselves sticking out. From those holes, urchins will snag pieces of drifting seaweed or kelp and use their tube feet and their spines to bring that food right into their mouths. Urchins have three different types of appendages, spines on ball and socket joints, tube feet, and pincers on extendable stalks. They use their tube feet to move, to hold on to the surface they're on, and to catch kelp or other seaweed to eat. Urchins were once considered pests, and then in the 1970s, a foreign market was found for their roe or their eggs, so we were able to sell them. So I've mentioned the urchins eat seaweed, but what eats urchins? Turns out quite a lot of things. Crabs, sunflower stars, snails, sea otters, some birds, fish, and as I said before, people do eat their eggs. Sea urchins don't have a brain. Like any echinoderms, echinoderms include things like sea urchins and sea stars. They live down to about 33 feet deep and can live to be about 30 years old. When sea otters eat too many urchins, they can actually turn their teeth and bones purple. It's pretty weird. Thank you for watching Beth Speech Finds today. All of my resources and links are in the information box below, so just click that. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.